Dreams of Destruction, Chapter 6 Karzani yanked hard on his burning chain, tearing the black fire sword from the grasp of the Maxilos robot. With a second strike, he shattered the tower of water who swam behind the robot into pieces. He had been heading for the Matoran settlement when he spotted Maxilos, the now-destroyed tower, and a tower of ice swimming in the opposite direction. His keen hearing picked up the robot saying something about a staff of Artaka. Karzani knew Artaka well, and hated him. And if something of his was down in this pit, it had to be seized or destroyed. The tower of ice turned as if to attack. Karzani hit him with a nightmarish vision of failure. So horrible, it would have driven anyone other than a tower into gibbering insanity. That left only the robot to deal with. Speak, machine, said Karzani. I know you have a voice. I am Karzani, and I would know what is this staff of Artaka, and where can I find it? Or do I need to dismantle you and tear the information out of your mechanical mind? The robot said something in reply, but so softly even Karzani couldn't hear it. He swam closer to Maxilos, then closer still. The robot was, after all, unarmed. Interesting, said Karzani. Even if the design was not familiar, you have the stink of Artaka about you. Reason enough to turn you to scrap. Speak up, you miserable machine. I cannot hear your words. The right arm of Maxilos lashed out faster than anything Karzani had ever seen. The robot's hand gripped Karzani around the throat and squeezed. I said... So this is Karzani, came the reply. Karzani, the jailer of Matoran. Karzani, the would-be avatar of evil. Karzani, the fool. And soon to be a dead fool. Who are you? Karzani demanded. I am Makuta, the robot replied. I am power. You have broken my toa and delayed my passage. Makuta, in the Maxilos robot, hurled Karzani down toward the seafloor. He plowed through a rock ledge and landed hard, half buried in the mud. With Karzani's concentration shattered, Matoro shook himself free of the illusion that had paralyzed him. And I hate to be late, Makuta finished. Karzani forced himself to his feet, forcing a twisted arm back into place. Yes, I've heard of you, Makuta. Tin-covered tyrant who wishes to be lord of the Matoran. As if being worshipped by insects had some meaning. I do not know where you are going, but your journey is about to end. Matoro felt a great disturbance in the water. He turned to look for its source and then gasped at the sight. It was manas crabs. Hundreds of them. Huge and hungry, and all with only one thought in their bestial minds. Kill the enemies of Karzani. To be continued in Into the Darkness, Chapter 5.